big up massive you don't know it's uh dj bubbles here coming live and direct at you from toronto canada you don't know telling that i'm sitting outside without a jacket that the weather is sun is shining and weather is sweet like bob marley said you don't know unfortunately i can't move my dancing feet because Bubba's got to go to work, you done know. So let me just get straight to the point here, Massive. Let me tell you a little bit about myself first. I come from two different cultural backgrounds. You know, my father is born and raised in Trinidad and Tobago. My mom was born and raised in Savlamar, Jamaica and Westmoreland. My mom comes from a place they call Russia in Sav. Now growing up, I had close ties with both sides of my family. Both sides of the family, the Trini and the Yadi them. Every summer we would drive down to Washington DC to chill with, the, with my mother's aunties and uncles from Sav. And then, well, most of my trainee fams migrated to Montreal, so I was exposed to both. But for some reason, I've always gravitated to the Jamaican side of my family, you know. I always loved reggae music when everybody was bossing Madonna and Ting. I was listening to Bob Marley and... Gregory Isaac, Dennis Brown, you know. Everybody were convinced Semited Barna Yard. But I'm born in Canada, you know. And I'll tell you one thing. I've been traveling with my family back and forth to Jamaica since I was four years old. I'm now in my 50, 51 now. You don't know. And, um, it wasn't until I went there as an adult by myself. I actually lived in JA for three years. But I didn't stay on the sunny side of the island, socially speaking, you know. Um, I stayed, well, I was in places like Rockford, Barbican, Akiwak, Almond Town. So I really got to know what real life is like behind those uh, tourist resorts and ultra rios and you don't know. Now let me tell you, life is hard out there. It's very, very hard. And right now there's a major stigma on Jamaicans, you know. When people think of Jamaica, they're like, yeah, man. But you know what? Not every yardy is blazing ganja. Not every young yardy is bleaching out their skin with a plastic cup uh, with um, liquor in there. Not every young Jamaican is rubbing out their hand middle and talking about how they wish could, they could be rich and not work. Some yardies are bossing their tails at IBX at Sutherland, Jamaica, giving it an effort some are in high low bagging groceries you know there's a lot of people out there who try but what i noticed is that mostly when people leave the island when they leave their home they want to put the island life behind them and they don't help if they see a jamaica call me nah answer i beg them i call for beg that's not right because you always have to remember where you're coming from, you know? Even Bob Marley said it, in this great future, how could you forget your past, you know? And the people that are left behind. I'm not talking about the dealers, them and the gunman, them and the shotters and Ray and Ra and the chigolos. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the people that want an opportunity. They're willing to work for that opportunity to do better. 
They're not trying to go online and fool and trick a woman to get green card or their Canadian visa or whatever. There's a lot of young people out there. I'd say between the age 18 and 35, and they do want to work, you know? And those that do work, let me tell you how it goes. They make about, in Canadian currency, they make about $3 an hour to do the same call center job that us over here in Canada are doing and getting paid $16, $17, $18 an hour. You know, if that was in Jamaica, uh, they would it would be like one thousand, close to two thousand dollars an hour. You know what I mean? Why is it fear? What's the difference between the people here and the people in Jamaica? Why are they getting paid three dollars an hour when we over here are crying that? for raises and stuff, all the pile up them and whatever. What if you were making $3 an hour? How far would that take you? So the point of my video is today, is that today is that um, there is a new work at home opportunity with Arise. Now Arise was the very first um, call center company to hire people to work from home they have they're established in the US Canada the UK and now Australia and now they're in Jamaica and in which I am so glad because you know what that means people don't have to be working 13 14 hours and don't see what am I work for you know what I mean and I'm real happy, so I've been pushing it hard. I've collaborated with Talia Powers from Ari FM and CMV TV, Talia Powers Media. I was like, look at this great opportunity for people who can work from home and don't have to worry about catching cab to travel all over the island just to work. Work has come home to them now, you know? And the great thing about Arise is that you get to schedule your own hours. So all they need is a TRN to go to work. And they could do it right in their backyard under an umbrella, you don't know. But there's a flip side to that, you know? How, where are good, they going to find uh, the laptops that they need to work? You know, they have to pay flow on Digicel so that their internet speed is up to par with, in order to be able to take them calls on the Arise platform. So here is where Jamaica Works comes in. Island Beats and Talia Powers from Irie. FM in Jamaica, we decided to collaborate and try to raise funds for people that want to work, you know. they What they have to do first is register to work on the platform and then consult Jamaica Works uh, so that, you know, they could be on the list to get a uh, laptop donated to them so what we've done we created a GoFundMe page so people could donate whatever you know even if it's five ten dollars just remember how hard it was for you before life was agreeing with you I mean who says life isn't hard for everybody but you know what's hard is that when a person is trying and trying and trying and they may not have the resources that is so available to Americans, Canadians and people from the UK and what have you. They don't have it but they're willing to try. Those are the people that need to be helped so much, you know. And like I said earlier at the start of my video, it's not every Jamaican that's on the corner rubbing out their 
hand middle with that little plastic cup, you know, wishing they could learn how to scam people or use people. Wanted in all, but not wanting to work. There's a lot of young people between 18 and 35 and even older that I've met that the heart is willing, but it's up to us to create those opportunities. And I, I give a big kudos to Arise for starting out in Jamaica now. They've All you need is a TRN to work, you know. But we really do need to help to give those who want to work and contribute to society a chance to, you know, work and show the world that they can do it too. But you know what, sometimes there's something called meeting a person halfway and that's why uh, we initiated Jamaica Works. So I'm going to be putting the um, GoFundMe link in the description of this video. And I do hope that people will give. Give not to seek attention or not for praise from your fellow mankind. But just give because it's in you. Because in this life, tables do turn quick and very easily. You done know. And so I'm asking the masses from Jamaica, Canada, US, UK, worldwide, you know. Help the young people in Jamaica. And the older ones too. Because there's no age limit to people who want to learn they can work on the Arise platform as well you know but let's help them instead of sitting down bad mountain lot them damn people them are Jamaica Riri. help them then you know there's sometimes people feel when their back is against the wall that the ends justifies the means you know although in some cases it doesn't then Help them then, instead of joining the rest of the world to lick out against our people, help them to help themselves, you know? You could give a man a piece of fish and they'll be full for a few hours, but there's a cliche that says, when you teach a man how to fish, then they'll go out and fish for themselves. So I'm pleading with the mass if you don't know. This, uh, it's called Jamaica Works. That was, is a collaboration initiative from DJ Bubbles I, DJ Bubbles from Island Beat, alongside Talia Powers from Irene FM in Jamaica. Let's help the communities build back, you know, and create hope and happiness in the hearts of our people. It don't matter how far you travel away from home. The yardness will always be in you. And this doesn't just extend to Jamaicans, you know. All people of the Caribbean island, you don't know. It don't matter how far away you travel from home. That's where your roots will always be. So in summary, I'm just asking all the masses all over for help. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video and uh, you could check out the Arise platform. Like I said earlier, Arise was the first entity to provide work at home opportunities for some prestigious companies like the Princess Margaret Ship, uh, Enbridge, Reliance Home Comfort, even Peloton, the virtual gym, uh, they've, they, Home Depot, uh, some hard and heavy entities out there that have a global name, you know. So it isn't some fly-by-night scam and work, it's real work. As a matter of fact, I, I operate my business on the Arise platform. And I have two uh, work agents that work under my company on the Canadian Arise platform. It's called Mecca Communications. 
and I have two agents that work underneath my um, federal, uh, like federally uh, established business here in Canada. And um, yeah, please, I beg you, check out Arise, check out their history. They are legit. They have um, great contracts, great opportunities for people to work from home and now they just launched in Jamaica. So <clears throat> massive, don't let those who want to work and be a positive contribution to society be denied this opportunity. And even if you can't give that, hey, okay, but tell a friend to tell a friend, you don't know. And that's it, Matthew. Today is Sunday. I just want to bless you all up and wish you a great rest of your day. This is DJ Bubbles. You don't know. Remember, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's build back up Jamaica, you know. What did Donald Trump say? Let's make America great again. Well, come make we make Jamaica great again, too. And let people remove the stigma off of my mother's country. You don't know. We're not just about crime, drugs, and slackness, you know. A lot of important people were born on the island, like Colin Powell, Madge Sinclair, who starred in Roots, Alex Haley's Roots movie. There's so many great contributions. Usain Bolt, Donald Quarry, some great people that stem out of Jamaica, you know. Let's make these people stop focusing on the negative and give them only positive to focus on. You done know. So big up yourselves. Have a wonderful day. Jamaica works. I hope that we could come together out of many one people and support Jamaica works. You done know. Bless upon the cell scene.